trigonometry. We are going to continue with non-90 degree triangles, but in this video we are going to look at mixed examples, meaning we can use the area a rule or we can use the sine or the cosine, doesn't matter, of non-90 degree triangles. Uh, you will find this on page 475 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at an example. In the diagram, ABCD is a quadrilateral. CD is 6, BC is 7, AB is 8, AD is 5, and angle ADC, ADC is 107. Find the length of AC. Now, you just work in one triangle at a time. So in this case, it uh, doesn't matter where, you're going to work in this one. Okay, so if I have two sides and an included angle, I will use the cosine rule. So AC squared is 5 squared plus 6 squared minus 256 cos 107. And I get and I can simplify it to 3 significant. Then angle ABC. ABC. Now, don't forget that now I will work in this triangle. And don't forget that you have this value now. So you have to write it in. And you can use the three significant figure because you are in a separate part of the question. 8.86. Okay, so now I must look again. Uh, what do I have? I have uh, that angle I'm looking for, ABC, ABC. Um, Oh, I have three sides. And if I have three sides, I can find this angle by saying 8 squared plus 7 squared minus this 8.86 squared, divide 8, 7, 2 times 8, 7, and I get, and I get 72.1. And now the area of the whole figure. Now, the first thing is, is I work in a triangle. I must also have two sides and include it. So I first work in this green one with the uh, no, it seems to me I was first working in the blue one. So the 8, 7, and I have to fill in that information, and I get, and then I work in this green one, and I get, and I, then I just add it up, and that's how I do it. Okay, um, I want to, I'm, I'm going to leave number one. I'm just going to do and see if I, I don't, also don't want to work in a ni uh, 90 degree. Uh, let's quickly see. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number five. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. I just want to make sure what try now it is. Try now 37. Okay, let's start. So this is try now 37. Okay, now if I start with this question, I'm first going to look, in the diagram, um, I give you of three straight roads connecting three cities. Rise 13, D, D. Find angle R, A, D. R, A, D. This angle. So I'm going to still work. It's three sides, this angle, angle A. So I'm going to work with the adjusted or the um, manipulated cosine formula. So let's just go with this big V. This is number 5A. So I'm going to say cos of A, it's going to be 13 squared plus 20 squared minus 70 squared. Now I say degrees there. Let's just correct it. Minus 70 squared. Divide 2 times 13 times 20. And then I'm going to press it on my calculator and I'm going to get 
that, okay, we can first write this down, 0 0.5384615538. Remember not to approximate that. And then shift, because you're looking for an angle, cos, and that. Um, press that in, and I will get 57.4. Point. Let's write that. Fifty-seven point four degrees. Okay, it's always good to write it in, so it's fifty-seven point four. Then I go the shortest distance from R to AD. So from R to AD. Now, if I look shortest, it's it must it's usually just with a ninety degrees. So the shortest will be if it's, oh, I just want to take a ruler. I want to see if I can, oh, that's good. So that will be if it's forming a 90 degrees there. Now, if it's forming a 90 degrees there, I have to see what do I have. I have this, which is 57.4, and I have one side, and I'm looking for that one. So if I'm standing here, then this will be, there's my 90, so this is my opposite. Uh, this one, I'm, I'm, this is the angle given, so I'm standing there. So then this one, the one over there, it's op ah, no, not opposite. That's incorrect, let me just say. The one over the 90 is the hypotenuse. Then I'm standing here, still, that was correct. So then this one is my opposite, and this little part is my adjacent. So I want to look at the opposite. So I'm going to say, okay, let's just call it x, shortest distance. So this is going to be B. So if I'm looking at the, at the side given and the side asked, it's opposite an hypotenuse. And now I think of my words, so, ka, to, a. So then I'm just going to say, okay, if I'm starting here, so it's going to be sin of that angle, 57.4, and that must be opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite will be x, and the hypotenuse will be 30. If the unknown is on top, it's a multiplication sum, so 13 multiplies sin, otherwise just cross multiply, and that will give me an answer of um, 10.9, I'm just going to write it out first. But then, if I look at this, 3 seconds, so that files make it a 0, 10, so it will be 11.0. And so therefore, um, the shortest distance from R, so say, the shortest distance is 11.0 kilometers. Shortest is usually when it makes a 90 degree angle. Okay, the area enclosed by the free, free roads, now it's just the area, so if I work out, I must have two sides and included angle, so I'm just going to clean here. So the area of AR and that will be half 13, 20 sin of that, okay, I just want to write it out sin of that 
of A, and A was 57.4. I hope I was writing it correct. The answer was correct, because I worked it already out. Okay, the previous one. Not 74.50, yes, 57.4, I can see it there. Uh, you can also do it on the other way because you have this, so you can say half base times height. I'm going to work with this one, and then if I press it, I will get 109.5188, but 3, it's 1, 2, 3, so that 5 makes this a 10. Move it on, so it's 110 kilometers square. And that's my final answer. Try to do a few more, okay, so that you can really practice. I didn't see a sign rule now. I think in bearings we will come to also mix examples and then use the sign rule.